My name's Jo Fletcher. I'm the facilitator of Connect Redfern Schools as Community Centres program. It's a interagency departmental program and Connect Redfern sits within Alexandria Park Community Centre and so there's a hub of organisations within this centre. We have the Mo Save the Children mobile play bus, um, the Smith Family Learning for Life program, Connect Redfern, the Early Childhood Nurses from Health and Aboriginal Education Council. With Connect Redfern, the focus is working with families in the local community, Redfern, Waterloo and Alexandria, who have kids from birth through to eight years of age. And uh, Connect Redfern is um, the main uh, program here that does all the activities in the centre. So some of our activities, we have playgroups running weekly. We've got a multicultural playgroup and a, a Alexandria Park School assists with another general playgroup, which happens weekly. We've got a, a community garden. We now established an Alexandria community garden group and we've got three sites on the school grounds of community gardens and we do working bees twice a month. We also have um, a clothing a swap system, so clothing and kids' equipment, and uh, families donate uh, clothing and equipment like prams and baby baths and uh, various things like that, and other families can just come along and take whatever they need. So it's just a bit of a, a swap system. We also run a toy library here, and that's a free service for any of our families that access the centre. They can come along and borrow toys. We also have books that are just giveaways, so children's books, families can just take the books and keep them. And we also have some parenting uh, books where parents can come and borrow those books and, and have a read of them and then bring them back. And also a couple of DVDs as well around parenting children. No, it's a universal service, but we want to also target families who um, may be struggling a bit with their pre pe parenting or, you know, that uh, low-income families who might be struggling in, you know, being able to buy clothes or books or whatever is needed and they're available to use it as well. Not only do we have kids' clothes, we've got adults' clothes um, available for um, families and um, the services that are in the centre we try and work together and also refer families between us because most of the services in, in this centre are focused around families so um, I guess that's always been the focus of the centre is towards families. We've put a new sign out the front that it's specifically for families with kids from um, birth through to eight years of age. So once they know that, and all the activities that we do here are focused around that. Um, the other activity we have is a family food co-op where that happens every fortnight. Uh, families can purchase a box of fresh fruit and veg uh, for $30 and it's probably equivalent to about $50 to $60 of fruit and veg in the supermarket. So um, any families can be a part of that, that family food co-op. We, we offer a multicultural playgroup, so that's for families who have English as a second language. And then from that we might run some parenting programs for those families. There are other services within the Redfern, Waterloo, inner city area that actually offer English classes for um, families, or, you know, for people who might have English as a second language. So we don't offer that because it's already running at other services. Um, but we have been running some parenting programs here and we're also outreaching outside the centre and we've started a uh, play group, a weekly play group at, up at, in Redfern at the National Centre of Indigenous Excellence and that's for young families who are under 25 years of age, so young parents and their kids can come along and have a play group and the focus is uh, for parents who are under 25 years. And now that we've got the health nurse, the early childhood health nurse who sees all new parents um, and they do 
baby health checks. Uh, that's fantastic that they've moved in here because they're straight away telling those families that there's a whole lot of on offer for them and their children. So that's where we're finding a lot of new families coming in. And some families just are walking past the centre and see that it's activities for kids and they just walk in off the street. And uh, I show them around and then just say, you know, if you want to come back, you're more than welcome. And we also have a weekly timetable, so I normally give that to them, as well as a parent newsletter that we do every two months. We don't have any sort of professional uh, counsellors or anything on site, but um, we do know there are services in the local area who do offer that, and they've got counsellors, and so if families are requiring that, we can then refer them on. And I think they feel more comfortable if, you know, it's, if you're saying, you know, I know of this service, it's just up the road, you know, and you're welcome. Do you want me to ring them to see if they've got someone available? So it's just making those connections um, between uh, families and the various services that are on offer here. I guess the other things that we do, which a uh, big partner is South Sydney Community Aid, and they've now got the worker who's the coordinator of playgroups in the park events. We run those three times a year in Redfern Park, and they are a basically a family fun day where families can come together and have a great time with their kids, meet other families, and then also um, we have community organisations who provide information tables about what they have to offer for families. So families can just come to the park, have you know, a ride on a pony, the kids can have a look at the animal farm or jumping castle. We've got a whole range of kids' activities and the parents can find out what other services are in their community to support them. We've got lots of um, our families who have been using the centre and accessing various things within the centre often volunteer, ask can they volunteer and give back to the community centre. And I've had over the years several families, uh, you know, parents uh, volunteering. They might help in sorting out the clothing or help keeping the toy library tidy and that everything's, all the toys are, you know, not missing parts or anything. I've, had, I've got a, a parent who is actually creating the parent newsletter every two months and her husband is create, has created a website for the community centre. So, and they've just volunteered their time to do that. So volunteers are welcome. To find a place where uh, Alexandria Park Community Centre is in the grounds of Alexandria Park Community School. So we're on the corner of Power Avenue and Park Road in Alexandria. Uh, I'm Jo, they can contact me on 9319-3207. And if they want to find out what happens uh, at the centre, they can check out the website www.alexcommunitycentre.com.